Okay, let's look at immigration in the sense of what pushes people to move from their country of origin to a new country and the pull factors, what pulls people towards migration towards a particular country. Let's look first at the push factors. In the history of immigration, there is one major push factor, which we cannot ignore, which is civil violence. Civil violence will always be a push factor in migration, whether it's low level civil violence, such as we see, say, in the Balkans or some of those places, or perhaps some of the border states around Syria, or whether you're talking about total full-on civil violence, as in civil war, like the situation within Syria and some of the other countries we might want to name, like Afghanistan. People who come from that kind of situation are often not referred to as immigrants, but as refugees, because they are in fact taking refuge from the situation in which they find themselves. And under the United Nations covenant, they are seeking asylum in a country which has an agreement with the United Nations to take refugees that have a particular case for asylum. And Australia is one of those nominated asylum countries. So we are recognised by the United Nations as granting asylum. However, requests to grant asylum are very much framed up about the risk that is back in the country that they came from. And so that that is the situation with refugees. I'll just stop there for a moment and turn to the other push factor in migration, which is always economic. When people are right back from the very beginning, when um, in history, the Snowy Mountains scheme, for example, which was a very important um, piece of infrastructure for Australia, was staffed primarily by people who had no economic prospects following on from World War II. They were people from Italy, Greece, Yugoslavia, and the countries in which there wasn't much left at all. And the argument was you could come to Australia. But even before that, the poorest of the people in England were offered the famous 10, 10 pound POM immigration scheme where they could come to Australia and for 10 pounds and start an entirely new life. Then there was the situation that we're seeing now where we do see Sri Lankan people trying to leave a situation that combines not only civil unrest, but also very grim economic prospects. So there's some of the push factors. Any parent wants the best life possible for their children. So being a parent is a huge push factor. You want the best for your children. Or if you want to start a family, then you want to go to a place where you're actually going to be able to find economic prosperity and peace. These are two very important things for quality of life. In terms of pull factors of immigration, there are some countries where it's, it's difficult to persuade anybody to go. We might take, for example, the difference between Australia and New Zealand. Now, New Zealand and Australia are very similar. And I was having a discussion with somebody the other day where they said, well, you know, the people, as you know, there's a discussion going on as I'm speaking now about whether the people from Nauru are going to move to New Zealand or some other third state because they're not going to be allowed into Australia. And the argument was, well, that's great. They're going to New Zealand. And then somebody said, but they'll just try and come to Australia. And somebody said, why? And somebody else said, because so many New Zealands want to come to Australia anyway. Now, why is that? Well, the New Zealand economy is not as strong as the Australian economy. And so it's a question of work. There is far more work available within Australia. And that's why Australia has a tremendous pull factor for migrants. One of the things you'll hear is it's all the sun and the beaches and the lifestyle. Really, at the end of the day, it's economic prosperity and the promise of economic prosperity. The US also has a similar kind of um, ideal in the minds of migrants. They're very big places with big economies. And so they have the possibility of work. One of the other pull factors is that, which for Australia in particular, is its claim to multiculturalism. Multiculturalism was one of the most important political um, innovations that we've ever seen, where people are allowed to speak their own language, they're allowed to have their own cultural traditions, as long as they remain within the law, of course. So the idea of cultural freedom is another very strong pull factor as to why people would come to Australia. 
Thank you.